points. Very important. Guerrilla Poubelle, pardon me if that's pronounced incorrectly. Guerrilla Poubelle, yes. Guerrilla, okay. Um, and that means Guerrilla Dustbin. Yes, but it kind of doesn't mean anything. It's okay. just two words put together. And we wanted, like, we wanted a name like Marin Manson. Okay. You know, this kind of name was two different words and put them together and yes. have a weird, non, like, new word. Mm -hmm. So we just, like, pitch ideas and this came out <laughs> it was a long time ago too <laughs> it's a good name though I like it yeah. it's different and um, the things that you sing about and my French is very bad I knew enough to get by in the grocery stores when I lived mm -hmm. in Switzerland and that was about it because I would shop in France um, but from what I understand of it you're very you have a lot of very good stances you're very political but not socially political i should mm -hmm. say um and then what you were saying in the set tonight about um everybody looking after each other and safe spaces for women do you find that that's something that's really been pushing you all this time or yeah i mean in general. yeah it's and especially in france those past couple years we got those uh, Manif pour tous um, protest they made. It's like reactionary right wing uh, family, you know, a dad, a mom, and like five kids, and they're very into religion and consumerism. And they made protests because of the gay marriage, they have not agree with it. And then about how, um, a, how do you say in English, like PMA? Like a okay, a positive mental attitude? No, or no. Um, um, like when you. Like when you do a, a kid, like, mm -hmm. like for a single mom or for a gay couple, yes. or like yes. medically assisted, okay. like um, yeah. procreation, yeah. and they're against this, and there's all that kind of reactionary and homophobic and like patriarchal vibe yeah. that came up, and it's like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> we don't want this yes. to happen. It's like. Even like the, um, last year, the like the gynecologist um, um, union, mm -hmm. the chief of this union, he, he compared uh, abortion to a murder, like on a like interview, public statement. It was like, whoa! <laughs> I didn't know what France was on? moving that far. That yeah, explains the yellow vest protests. And also, yeah, and so yeah, it, and like all the friends we got 
from show, it, it happens all the time. Like you got a rest, you get followed in the street or at a festival, like someone try to get into your tent and stuff like this happens in every festival, like big festival, not festival like tonight, I guess. But no, you know we have I mean. a really good vibe here and, it's, it, and yeah, we do it's, look out for each other like mm -hmm. that. And it's more uh, a diverse uh, scene too. Like there's a lot of women playing in bands and uh, it's, we're not there in France yet. Like most show we play is just white dudes playing punk music in front of other white dudes and it's sad and it's not, it's not what the world is and it, not what it should be. So yeah, we have a couple songs like about this. Mm -hmm. We try to make it inclusive and feel everyone safe, even if we're a male white dudes band. <laughs> but you're supporting us women who do get involved and who are a part of the music or just want to see the music and enjoy it. Yeah. And that makes it a safe space for us. So thank you. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> well, knowing that there are people out there who look for, uh, look out for us mm -hmm. and want to encourage others to do so, that helps a lot. And that makes it, as a woman coming, knowing that there are people saying that. Um, really makes it feel much better and much yeah. more like I belong here. Mm -hmm. you know what and I mean? sometimes like, when the band is saying this, it, it makes everyone like more, okay, so I feel like this too, so mm -hmm. it's, it's like this and it, it's more easy to, to point off like bad um, attitudes and yes. like um, oppressive uh, attitudes. It's like more, more like, okay, the band is on my side, mm -hmm. so I should say something because I, this is happening and I'm not okay with it. And yes. Most of like most of the time, like people just like say, ah, it's okay. It's just Jack. He's drunk. He's ah, he's like this. It's no, it's not like this. We have to call it's out. It's not the way men should act or women should act because women can do act. it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Anyone. <laughs> titles and album titles I just one stuck out at me existentialist yeah and do you feel that you are a bit existentialist yeah in the, I mean it's it's kind of a, like you know Philips philosophical uh, mm -hmm. uh, movement yes that oh, we yes. Got in France and it's like making this into punk rock makes sense like most of the the um, um, responsibility you got as a person and as a person in a punk scene is like something like you have in existentialism mm -hmm. and yeah it makes sense like I read a lot of that 
literature and uh, I love Sartre and the last album is called La Nausée. That's mm -hmm. a Sartre, Jean-Paul Sartre uh, novel yeah. too. So yeah, we're, I'm into that shit. Yeah. I <laughs> was a 12 year old existentialist, so mm -hmm. I totally understand where you're coming from with that. Um, and speaking of your albums, where can people buy them if they can't get to a gig? Do you have a band camp and uh, all yeah. of that? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's free everywhere online. You can download it for free or donate whatever you want. Mm -hmm. And we always did this. It yeah. feels like when I was growing up, we just like traded tapes, you know, and when internet arrived, it was like, wow, let's put everything there. It's yeah. like a huge tape collection you can trade. Exactly, and it is. So yeah, we always did this and it, I do, it doesn't feel like it matter. Like we sell recorded shows and people order it or the realm online there's you can find them in shops too yes. so it's like but well, we don't care <laughs> <laughs> we'd rather have people listening to the music than just buying this it's yes. like it's more about hearing the songs and everything like this and you play with such passion that anybody going to your gigs i mean i saw the mob you had at the uh merchandise mm -hmm. up there and you guys obviously sold a lot because you just there's something about your stage performance and your passion, it comes out and everybody felt it in that room today. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad, I'm glad it, it, it's not easy for a French singing, mm. French speaking band to like make this like um, in the room. Like, I mean, it's like, yeah, I'm glad it works. I don't know what to say about <laughs> it, so thank you. <laughs> but. but I did see people singing along i'm sure some of them were french or or mm -hmm. could speak french but i heard one girl saying i don't know what i'm singing but i'm singing along and i love it so well imagine what every french person do at a french show when an american band play or a british band play which is like blah 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 yes rock and roll blah 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 <laughs> oh, I, when i would go through the shops when i lived in switzerland would be in france or even switzerland and you'd have the music over and you'd hear some songs with some rather over-the-top lyrics. And people are just walking about. They were totally oblivious to it. And I'm going, wow, ooh, what are they playing? <laughs> yeah. So yeah. it's the same thing, yeah. <laughs> but you guys at least have a good music and a good message with I it. Hope. So We yes. try. Yes, you do. You do well. Well, you can't hear us in the store in the, in, in, in the UK or yeah, anywhere. Unless in it's a specialist <laughs> shop, then you Maybe. might. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so what's happening with the band? Are you doing anything new right now or are you going on a big we, tour? We're touring mostly. We're on, on a European tour those like few weeks with mm -hmm. Arms Aloft from the, from the States. Yes. They're a really good friend of ours. It's our fifth tour together. Oh. Wow, okay. Yeah. We share the same bass player on this tour too. Okay. We share everything. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, that's and we like we're gonna play Puzza Fest in Montreal mm -hmm. like next month. We're back to the Bristol Booze Cruise too. Oh, okay, yeah. And we go to Fest in Gainesville next mm -hmm. um, October. Okay. So yeah, it's like mostly touring. Yes, a lot of touring and it keeps you busy with that. Yeah. Um and you, speaking of festivals, you put on your own festival in France. Yes, I do. <laughs> and what is that called? It's called This Is My Fest. Mm -hmm. It's uh, June, early June. Okay. <laughs> and it's the seventh time we, we do that. Okay. And it's, yeah, it's just way smaller, the festival, than it. there's only one venue. Mm -hmm. But it's 20, 29 bands this year on three days. It's just 25 euros, mm -hmm. so it's quite cheap. And we make like vegan food and stuff like this, like same spirit as here. Yes. And everyone travels from all around France mm -hmm. and you see like all the families here and it's like, it's really... So it's, it's a, a good family event then? Yeah, kind of. It's like good. like like Manchester Punk Fest is and like yes. this kind of, it's like really the, the hardcore music lover that yeah. get involved and everyone is like kind of playing in a band or promote shows or do like a YouTube channel, a lot of st stuff yeah. like everyone is involved in some way, yeah. and it's like it's cool. I like this. That sounds really fun. That's something we may be coming to one of these days. We'd it's like to. <laughs> it's not that far. No, it's not <laughs> far at all. And is there anything you'd like to say to the world? No, thank you for having us. It's my pleasure. Thank you very much, merci beaucoup, and uh, I hope to see you guys again soon because that was really enjoyable. Thank you very much. Thanks. Cheers. Thanks.